Hi everyone, Dr. Mike here. In this video, we're gonna talk about seizures and epilepsy. Now the first important point is that not everyone that has seizures is termed an epileptic. So epilepsy is usually in an individual who has two or more seizures and usually they're unprovoked, meaning we don't know what the cause is. Provoked seizures usually happen because of drug interactions or drug overdoses or metabolic changes. So maybe there's a problem with potassium or sodium levels, for example. It could be tumors. So these are known or provoked causes of seizures. Now, the unprovoked, we don't know what's happening. We don't know what's underlying the cause of those seizures. Now, we can broadly categorize seizures into two major categories. We've got the generalized and the focal. In this video, we're just gonna focus on the generalized seizures. Now, the definition of a seizure is a temporary involuntary change caused by abnormal and excessive cortical neuron activity. Basically, the cortex, the outer couple of millimeters of your brain, has neurons within it, and if you have this excessive and abnormal misfiring of these neurons, that leads to a seizure. Now, generalized seizures, which we're focusing on now, it means these seizures happen in all parts of the brain. Focal seizures only happen in certain isolated parts of the brain. Another important point to know about generalized is that it results in the individual becoming unconscious due to this type of seizure. So generalized seizures use all the brain and the individual ends up being unconscious. Now, there's a couple of different categories of generalized seizures. The most common is the tonic-clonic seizure, which used to be called the grand mal seizure or the major contractile seizure. So this is the one that you probably often see or think about when you hear of seizures. Now what happens is the individual, first thing that usually happens is this cry and that's because the body contracts, air escapes, and you hear this cry and then the individual becomes unconscious, so falls to the floor and then it's followed by this rhythmic contraction and relaxation of the body which we talk, call tonic-clonic. So tonic is where the muscles become rigid and then clonic is a rhythmic relaxation and contraction again. Now this when this happens, the individual stops breathing and can stop breathing for up to a minute. Once it's finished, once these tonic, clonic or contractile seizures start to slow down towards the end after usually around about two to three minutes, up to two to three minutes and slows down, then usually the contractile force starts to diminish and the individual begins to breathe again. So that means they can start to turn blue during these types of grand mal or tonic, clonic seizures. Now, if a seizure like this happens for more than five minutes, then it's usually termed status epilepticus. Okay, status epilepticus. So that's the tonic-clonic seizure. The next most common is that of the absent seizure, which used to be termed the petite mal seizure. Now what happens in a petite mal seizure is the individual will be performing a task or doing something and then they just stop. They often look away or look into the distance and don't do anything for a short period of time. There's not really any muscular contraction. They lose consciousness for that time period, but often it's as though it looks as though they're daydreaming. And this is the petite mal seizure. It doesn't usually last for very long, maybe 20 to 30 seconds, and then they go back into their task as though nothing has happened. This can happen up to 70 to 100 times per day for some people with petite mal seizures. Far more common in children than it is for adults. Generally speaking, seizures are far more common in children than adults. So 10% of infants, so 10% of individuals up until the age of 16 have experienced at least one seizure, usually due to some sort of febrile event. That just means they've had a fever, often due to some sort of illness. All right, now the rest of these types of seizures are less common, but you can see they've all got similar terms. So clonic, tonic, myoclonic, atonic. So the first thing is if we define that tonic, clonic, tonic is where you have a prolonged contraction of your muscles, clonic is more of a rhythmic contraction and relaxation. So if you have a clonic seizure, then you're gonna have more of a rhythmic contraction and relaxation. If you have a tonic seizure, it's more of a prolonged contraction. If you have a myoclonic, it's usually a single muscle or a group of muscles and it happens very quickly, so it may be a quick contraction and then it stops. And an atonic seizure is where you lose all contractile ability and often these individuals just fall to the floor. But again, generalized entire brain resulting in unconsciousness. So in a future video, I'm gonna talk about the partial or focal seizures and then talk about some of the treatments.